Hi, I'm Simon and very soon I'm going to be the new vicar at Christchurch and I can't tell you how excited I am that I'm going to meet all of you. I have a question for you. I wonder if you can think of any of the things that Jesus taught his friends and us to do. I have a few ideas and I've got some pictures that'll be just up here that might help us think about them. There was one time when Jesus was with his friends and they asked him how they should pray. Jesus taught them some words that we now know as the Lord's Prayer. That's one of them. There was another time when Jesus was with his friends again and they were sharing a Passover meal together. They had bread and they had wine. Jesus broke the bread and gave them all the wine. And then he said to them, every time you share this meal, remember me. And that's what we do when we have communion at church. I don't think there was a time that Jesus ever taught his friends to surf. But if he had, that would have been really cool. We heard another time in our reading a bit earlier. We heard this. Go and make disciples, says Jesus, of all nations, baptising them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. That first bit that Jesus said make disciples. Well, what is a disciple? Well, firstly, a disciple is someone who follows Jesus. One of the important things about following Jesus is that it's not static, it's not stationary, it's not still. It moves. We don't just decide that Jesus is a good thing and decide to follow him and then stop. Following means keeping on moving and following, journeying with Jesus. So being a disciple means following Jesus. It also means learning about him as well. Christians believe that Jesus died for us. He rose from the dead and that God forgives us for all the things we've done wrong when we ask him. We also believe that he's prepared a place for us in heaven and we can find out all about that in our Bibles. There is so much to find out about Jesus. No one knows everything there is to know about him. So all of us disciples are learners as well. So disciples are followers and learners. They are also worshippers of God. And worshipping is something we often do when we meet together. Even when we're meeting together like this. We sing some songs, we pray, we worship. So disciples are followers and learners and worshippers. And fourthly, disciples are witnesses. A witness is someone who has seen something or knows something and can tell someone else all about it. Jesus wanted us to be witnesses, to be people who told others about him. We find out more about him for ourselves and tell our friends and family the same things about how good God is, about how much he loves us, about him wanting us to love him and trust him and put our lives into his hands as well. I think all of those things about being a disciple are really exciting. Being a follower, being a learner, being a worshipper, being a witness. Jesus wants us to make new disciples for him and that's how his church grows. One person tells someone else, they tell someone else, and so on and so on. I wonder if this week you could think of a way you could tell someone else about Jesus and help to make some new disciples for him.
Right, now we're going to do a craft activity. So Simon talked about being a disciple. And one of the big things he said about being a disciple was that disciples follow Jesus. That's one of the key things about being a disciple. So we're going to make a, a painting to, to demonstrate that, to demonstrate following Jesus. So what you're going to need is a piece of paper. It can be um, anything from sort of the normal, normal A4 size, which is the normal size of a piece of paper, through to however big you want to do your painting. Um, and then a pen, some paints, I would say three or four different coloured of paints. You could just do one colour of paint, it doesn't actually matter. And then I found it quite handy to put them on, to put a little blodge of each paint onto a plate. And then you will need a damp cloth for cleaning in between your different paints. Let's get going. So the first thing, because we're following Jesus, um, we need Jesus to follow. So I am not very confident in drawing Jesus. You may choose to draw Jesus. I'm going to do a signpost. I did think about trying to draw Jesus and then I thought that is beyond my ability. So I'm just going to do a signpost. It's going to say Jesus. And it's going to point in that direction, okay? You can do it however you want to. You can do a person, or you can do a cross, or you can do a signpost like mine, or any other kind of signpost. There we go. So that says Jesus. Then, what we're going to do is we're going to do lots of footprints. So I'm going to start out with blue, and we're going to do these the way that my dad taught me. So you need to get, get a nice lot of blue on your hand, or whatever colour you're using. And on the other one, then sort of slightly wipe it off. You don't want to make it too blodgy. Okay, you don't want to make it too blodgy. So you've got two hands like that. And then you go pump, 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 walk, walk, walk. And then you get your thumbs. And you do the same thing, get some nice blue on your thumbs, or whatever colour you're using, and you do the big toes. Big toes, big toes, big toes, big toes, big toes. Then you get your little, these fingers, index fingers, pointy fingers, and you do one, two, three, four. Actually, do you know what, I'm left-handed, I'm going to find it much easier to do them all with my left hand. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, whoops, two, three, four. And then, this is where the cloth comes in handy. You wipe that all off, or you can just run off to the sink and do that in the sink. And then, you think, well, what other colour would I like to do? I, do you know what? I'm a disciple who's told somebody else about Jesus, and now she's following Jesus as well. So. Her feet are going to be, I think they're going to be red. So I'm going to get some red on my hands. There we go. That's probably a good way of doing it. There you go. And then I'm going to do it, maybe I'll do the footprints here. Pink, pock, pink, pock, pink. There we go. Get my thumbs. There we go. And the index fingers. Might need to load up again with a bit more paint. Dot, 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 dot. Dot, 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 dot. Clean it up again. There we go. And then let's say that together we told somebody else. I'm only going to have room for three, I think. So this person is going to have, he is going to have yellow footprints. So we do the whole thing again with yellow. or rather the big toes, chink, 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 and then the index finger to do the little toes, pong, pong, pong. And I'm going to show you a close-up of this in a minute so that you can see what it looks like. And you could do yours, it might be more effective to do an even bigger piece of paper. You see how big and how many footprints you want. But 
there we are. This is a picture of following Jesus. Okay, so there we are. That's the sort of still wet product. Um, so we started off with the blue footprints being the first disciple, or yourself, or whoever, and then you tell a friend who also decides to follow Jesus. And then maybe together you tell another friend who also decides to follow Jesus. And you know what? If you have a bigger piece of paper, you can just keep asking more people and drawing them too. There we go. Have fun.